Today we will learn how to paint a face with a design or a flag in Photoshop. So let's get started. This tutorial is not just to watch. You can work along with me. And if you are wondering where I can download this photo, the link is in the description. You can pause the video and download the image so you can understand the tutorial better. Now moving back to the tutorial, select the photo layer, right click, duplicate layer. Right click convert it into a smart object so that we can work non-destructively and later we can change the image as well. Now go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, set the value 6.8, click ok. We are actually creating a displacement map first. Now add adjustment layer of black and white. Go to file, save as, name it displacement, save type as PSD, save, click ok. While holding shift select both layers and press Ctrl or Command G to make a group. Rename it as Displacement. Now press Ctrl or Command S to save it. Now the changes is already saved in the Displacement PSD. We don't need the group for now. Delete it. Now press Ctrl or Command Shift S to save it again. This time name it as Paint Effect. Now we have separate two PSD, one for Displacement Map and second for Paint Effect. Now we want to select the area where we want to put the effect on. I'm using Quick Selection tool. You can use any other tool as well. While holding Alt or Option, you can subtract the selection. Click on Refine Edge and paint over the hairline so that we can get a smooth selection. Paint over the lower portion of the face as well. Click OK. The selection is not accurate. We have another option for this. Click on Quick Mask Mode. It will change the default colors to black and white. Now take the brush tool, right click, increase the size, decrease the hardness, change the color to white and paint where you want to add the selection. Black color will be used to subtract the selection, white color will be used to add the selection. Make sure you subtract the eyes from the selection because we don't want paint over the eyes. I am speeding up this process, but you can take your time. Now again, click the quick mask mode to get back on the selection mode. Now add an adjustment layer of black and white. The design I'm going to paint over is this earth image. You can download this image. The link is in the description. Press Ctrl or Command T to transform the image. While holding Alt or Option plus Shift, scale it down and move it to the right. We want to cover the face with the design. Click on Take to place it. Remember when we drag an image inside the canvas, it automatically becomes a smart object. The same thing happened with this earth image. Double click on earth image. Now right click on background layer and convert it into a smart object. So that means we have a smart object inside a smart object. We are close to the movie of Inception now. <laughs> there is a big reason why I did this. I will let you know in a moment. Now go to filter, distort, pinch. Zoom out to get a better view and slide it to 81%. Pinch will help us to make our design give a more 3D look. It will create a depth of sphere. Now go to file, save it. Close this file for now. Select the earth layer and set its opacity to 50% so that we can see the face. Now press Ctrl or Command T and scale it from each side so that we can cover the face and click on wrap on the header. We need to wrap the design on the face. This is the reason why I created two smart objects. Because if we apply pinch on this smart object, we are not able to work properly with wrap. When you are done, click on tick. Now add a vector mask on earth layer. And while holding Alt or Option, drag the layer mask of black and white adjustment on earth layer. Replace layer mask, yes. And set the blend mode to linear burn. Change the layer opacity to 60%. Add the adjustment layer of exposure and clip it with the earth layer. Right now the design color is looking too dull. Increase the exposure to 0.77 plus. And also decrease the offset. Now select the earth layer Go to Filter, Distort, Displace. Set the value 10 in horizontal and vertical space. Rest of the value will be same. Click OK. Now select the displacement file we created earlier. Open it. You can see the changes. The design is looking a lot more realistic now. If you learn something new, hit the subscribe button. And also press the bell icon for learning updates. Let me know in the comment section how was the tutorial. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena. Let's meet on another great tutorial for the timing. Goodbye.